welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to be showing you another way of setting up a fixed rappel. And what we've got here today is a redundant backup system with two lengths of tubular webbing, redundant carabiners, and then our rappelling line that's off here. Um, the way this differs from a t traditional top rope system is the, uh, the fulcrum point here with the, the opposing gated carabiners is set up a little higher. Uh, typically in a top rope situation, you want this hanging over the edge so your rope's not laying on here. And technically we should have a, uh, a rope guard to protect against the friction of going down, but since this is a fixed rappel, we decided to just leave it like this. But let me explain the way we set the system up with the tubular webbing here. And if you can zoom in here, I'll show you that what we've done is create two slings. So the whole point of this system is redundancy. And that's the big point of everything we've set up here. So if you notice these tubular webbing, this tubular webbing, we've tied a tape knot here. And we've got redundant backups on both sides of the tape knot. And that's the same for both of these anchor points. These are fixed anchor points. These are 25KN uh, rating steel bolts that are tapped into the rock here. And we've got locking carabiners for each side of this thing. If you remember the, uh, the mnemonic device here, you screw down. So if you notice the gate on this is down and out, you're going to screw down so you don't screw up. And we've got our two tubular two webbing lines running down to our dual carabiners here, and these are opposing gates, which means that if I unscrew these here, the gates are opposed. So one's coming this way, one's coming that way. And we'll screw these down. Of course, one's going to actually be screwing up since they're opposing. So you'll see that as you're coming down, the locking gate on these carabiners is pointing up towards the sky, and that's how you want it. You don't want these, this, uh, these locking mechanisms rubbing against the rock. Same with these. You want the, uh, the direction of the pole to actually be lifting this up rather than pushing it into the rock. That's why we have our locking mechanisms pointing outwards. So let's get into the rappel. Um, first, we're going to be using a Prusik as a safety device for the rappel. Again, redundancy. Uh, if you need help making a Prusik loop, uh, check out ITS in our Knot of the Week series for that. So, me and my buddy Jason here. So what we're going to do make sure our Prusik line is hooked up first to the rope. And again, if you uh, need a demonstration on doing this, since we're kind of doing it quickly here on camera, refer to ITS in our Another Week series on how to make a Prusik. point here on the Prusik we want to demonstrate is that you want the knot of the Prusik to be away from either the carabiner clip-in point or the point at which you're hooking it up to the rope. So first of all, before we hook in, let's make sure this is twisted the right way on the rope. We'll demonstrate that. So get out of the way here and we'll show. Our lines are straight. Carabiners are coming the right way. So we want our Prusik to be off to our off hand, so away from your breaking hand. Flip into Prusik first. Slide that down. Now we're coming in with our figure eight here. This is actually a rescue eight. You can tell by these little ears that are coming off of it. so we don't screw up. We and we've got the Prusik line below the figure eight itself so that it's not interfering. But this Prusik acts as a redundant backup system so that if you do happen to let go of the rope, this Prusik's going to catch you through the friction that it produces. So we're going to 
tighten this up so he's working as close to the fulcrum point as possible so that rope can catch him before he even steps off the edge. So now he can sit there with his hand behind his back like that all day long and he's not going anywhere. But as he lets off with his brake hand, his hand, his opposite hand, comes above the prusik. There you go. He's just going to walk right over the ledge. So as you can see, as he's coming over, he's flipped over a little bit, but they're still in a situation where they're not gonna they're not gonna get damaged as he's going down. So there you have it. That is our uh, fixed rappel point that we made for the day. We're just out here rappelling all day long, and this is just another way of doing it. There's plenty of ways to set up a fixed rappel. You could tie a threaded figure eight around one of these large trees behind us go down like that or you could even simply wrap a line around one of those trees if you wanted to uh, get your rope back after you go over the edge so in that kind of situation again you'd wrap that rope around a fixed point a secure anchor point you go down uh, first you'd probably tie the ends of your rope together so that the rope isn't twisting on the way down and you know that that rope has hit the ground and you can go over like that uh, one last thing to mention this is a double line rappel which means that our carabiners are acting as a fulcrum point for the rope to feed through. And you're actually, if you remember seeing the way his uh, carabiner was routed there, he's got a double line going through there. So uh, there's a birthday party, and, and there you have it. Thanks for watching.